Welcome to Burkett Bytes. My name is Chris Howey. Digitization is drastically transforming the automation world, as well as creating a lot of opportunity. In this series of videos, we take you through the best practice for digital connectivity in process automation. We hope you enjoy. Welcome to this Digital Connect video, which is about uh, EDIP or the Burkett Bus. EDIP stands for Efficient Device Integration Platform, which it totally explains what uh, this network is all about. Whilst it is a fully capable field bus, it is actually designed as a unique platform that connects all Burkett devices. So, of course, Burkett has 120,000 devices in our portfolio, and to make every one of them on Profinet and every one of them on uh, Ethernet IP, uh, as an example, uh, yeah, it would just be onerous. So what we've done is developed a single platform that we can connect multiple devices and then put them onto any network that's available. Which means that all of the big protocols that are out there can be communicated with all of the Burkett products that are, uh, have been manufactured for the last five years. And this includes things like IO blocks, temperature, pressure sensors, mass flow meters and mass flow controllers, modulating control valves and on-off valves, um, I.O. blocks for pneumatics, the uh, water anal analysis, and uh, even right down to DIN plugs operating solenoid valves. So it's a broad range of products and they all connect via this single blue cable, which is the backbone of the EDIP network. This cable is just four wires and it includes both power and data. So in other words, from a single node here in Profinet, we're running out this one blue cable that just links into all of these devices that takes power and data to them. So in other words, it makes wiring much, much simpler and reduces the total cost of ownership considerably. And then you only have one Profinet node, as an example, connecting everything that's on this side, including even the display. So that gives you a good idea as to where you might use this technology in things like valve clusters, as well as uh, mass Mass, uh, mass flow mixing boxes or gas mixing boxes and uh, other applications like that. To give you an idea of some of its capabilities, you'll notice also um, this, uh, these lights that are on all of the uh, Burkett products. This is not just a green means power on, this is actually a NE107 uh, color coded uh, bar which gives us a status indication as to what is actually happening on that device. As an example, I'm going to take control of this mass flow controller here and I'm going to output some flow. By taking control and putting that into uh, manual control, I've now set a set point of 10 normal litres per minute and you can hear the flow flowing through that. You'll notice also the bar here has gone orange because the orange bar is also on the top of the mass flow controller. That's showing that this is actually under manual override and it's not in automatic, automatic connected to the, uh, the Profinet system. Of course, if I go back and uh, put it back into automatic, it goes back to taking its set point from the main control system and the bar goes back to green. So it's a very, very powerful system, not only for telling you what's happening, but also telling you that there's um, uh, what status it's in. You can also see this example here. This is one we haven't configured and it's actually red saying that I'm not yet connected to the network. And if there was a maintenance requirement, it would also flash blue. So there's multiple different codes that uh, give you that diagnostics uh, in, this, in this system. This gives you a bit of an idea as to how the system uh, physically looks in the field. To give you a bit of an idea how you integrate this into your system, I'm gonna throw to Nelson Chimiak He's our uh, National Engineering Team Manager and he's going to take you through integration of this digitally. Thanks Chris. Let's take a look at the Burkett 8742 mass flow controller. Let's establish a connection in our communicator software by using the bus stick USB connection. Our device will show up on the product tree on the left hand side and we can expand its features by clicking the plus button. When we click on the device itself, we are presented with a host of values such as flow rate, temperature and totalizer. At the moment, our unit is looking for a signal from the PLC, which is disconnected. 
So we need to commission the device and check its accuracy. We'll click onto controller and set the set point value from automatic to manual control. We can then set a set point of our choosing, five liters per minute. You can see now that the unit is in an orange Nemur state. It's saying that we have a set point source that is manual. And if we click on the device, we can see the actual flow value and totalize accounting up. Once we've verified these parameters, we can go back to controller, click back to automatic, and then our units are back to zero. Back to you, Chris. Thanks, Nelson. One of the other nice things about uh, this network is it's fully hot swappable. So in other words, if you were to disconnect a single device uh, uh, on this network, you could plug in another similar device and it will automatically reconfigure and uh, be up and running. So you don't need to call a technician in the middle of the night if you do have a breakdown or get water ingress or something. So just to give you an example, this is one of our I.O. modules. I'm now going to disconnect that where the wiring would normally be. So the wiring would stay intact and I would remove that. I can now remove that module. So I've taken it out. I could put a new module in. You'll see that it's gone to red and our indicator is also turned red that we have a problem. By reinstalling this, you'll notice that it only takes a second and it goes back to green. There it is, which will then put the network back to green and then we can plug our wiring back on. And now we've just replaced a complete I.O. module online in a hot swap configuration. The network has a number of uh, advantages over other networks in the field. One of them is the fact we can multi-drop this network. Now in the example here, you'll see these blocks where we're using them as a distributor block. There's nothing smart in this block at all. All we're doing is we're distributing to multiple clustered devices. And this is an example of the multi-drop version of EDIP, where one cable travels to the field, we come in, we go into the next one, to the next one, and of course, to an end position. This gives you the ability to take power and data down a straight line in a very, very cost-effective way. The way we get from a common industrial uh, network to, to the uh, EDIP platform is via a gateway. And these little uh, gateways, quite small, quite inexpensive, they're available in a DIN rail mount, which is the ME43, and a IP67 version, which is the ME63. These devices convert any Ethernet signal, so we can actually take uh, Profinet, Modbus TCP, Ethernet IP, Ethercat directly into uh, the system and from there we can talk to the entire range of Burkett products. Um, yeah, so you can see here we've got uh, the two ports uh, coming in. This one is on uh, Profinet. These devices all support the uh, MRP protocol and if on uh, Ethernet IP they support the DLR protocol, so they can be in a redundant ring as well. As we mentioned before, it's a very efficient way of putting a lot of devices onto a single node. So not just a valve manifold, but it can be a valve manifold with remote valves, with modulating valves, with sensors, with feedbacks, uh, etc. So it's uh, very cost efficient and yet very good for reducing your total cost of ownership. And as you saw, the configuration of all EDIP devices can be done with the free Burkett Communicator software. And when you plug that onto the network with a simple USB stick, then everything that's on that network becomes immediately available and you can get right into the asset management, diagnostics and all the uh, information that you would need to both configure, commission and also run uh, and maintain a system. There's a wide area of application capabilities for this network and it might start with somewhere like in a food and beverage, there may be valve clusters or it could be in mining where you need to put a solenoid valve doing dust suppression every 30 metres down a tunnel. Anywhere where you're going to have a lot of product uh, mounted and you want to put it onto a single network interface, that's a great application for EDIP. And there you have it. That's a wrap up of our EDIP and uh, Burkett Bus capabilities. I hope you enjoyed this Burkett Byte video. There's a number in the series, I hope you take the opportunity to watch them all. And if you do have an application, our local engineering team is here to support you. Thanks.